Hey guys, so we've already started with a moisturized face. I'm going to go ahead and put on some primer. This is just going to be the Makeup Forever uh, Mattifying Primer. I'm just going to tap that in my face. Kind of mainly focusing on where all your pores are. Kind of like in my cheek area, mostly. Mainly, mostly. I'm going to be using L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to be mixing two colors. This is going to be um, W5.5 and then W7. And I just dot it on my face. So I take the W7 first and then I put that on my face. I barely put any on my forehead. I mainly focus all the color, all of the foundation on my cheeks. I just dot that on my face. And then I take W7, which is the darker shade, and I only do a small amount of that because I'm pretty lighter than this shade, so I just barely put any in. Just like warm it up. And it make me look so pale. Alright, cool. So then I'm just going to take a Real Techniques buffing brush. And then just tap that into my skin. Usually I start like in my cheek area and then I just go outwards. Try to get in all the crooks, the crooks, the nooks and crannies. Jesus. And then I blend all the leftover product down to my neck. So I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender. Okay, so now that my foundation's on, I'm going to move to my brows. And right now I can find my brush. Of course it's in my makeup bag. <laughs> so I just go in and I brush my eyebrows upwards and get the shape and then right now I just use Ulta's brow expert in the shade deep and I take the pomade on that and just kind of outline underneath my brow so guys we have these new neighbors and they are sketch. This is supposed to be the apartment that we've been working on. They were working on next door, our maintenance guys, for a while, getting it ready for like whoever was going to move in next. And for the longest time, the lights would be on at nighttime. All the lights are on in that apartment. And the porch light would be on. But nobody, like you wouldn't see anybody in there. They're like, oh my god, like something's going on. What's happening? Turns out we actually have neighbors. And I think they're a little sketch. So I think I'm going to like go over there and like introduce myself and bring them like some cookies or something. They're a little different is what different different is the word I'm looking for. And then I take like the powder and I go over everything. Yeah, so then I just put it in. And brush everything and what I do is I take like I flip usually you know you hold the brush like this I hold the brush like this when I'm in the front part and I just kind of use that to like sculpt out the front a little bit and BAM we got one brow so I brush up and then I brush over to make all the hairs obviously go this direction and I go underneath my brow and do kind of like a rough outline of what I want the bottom to be like, how I want the bottom shape to be. I go to the middle of my brow and then I sketch my tail. I fill a little bit in as I go. I go to the left on the brush. 
and I move it up towards the front to create the shape. And then once I feel like I have like a decent shape, I'll turn the brush sideways like this. So it's flat. So it's not like this, it's like this, like flat. And then I'll just fill that in. So then I go back in with the, um, the, no. <laughs> I go back in with the, what's it called? The powder. I go back in with the powder, the darker powder. And then I do the same thing. I just kind of fill everything in. And I keep mostly the darkness at the end of the brow. Like to the middle at the end. And it helps when you take the end of the brush and brush everything together. That way you can like have an idea of what it looks like if you're putting on too much product because you might think you have nothing on your eyebrows, but then when you brush it out, you're like, well, I actually put a lot of powder. So yeah. And then I just go back in and I fill in the top part. Both brows are done. Cool. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I think I'm going to use the Morphe 350 palette. Hello. Hey. Recording. This girl said she was going to be home in half an hour. She's like, oh, I'm still at my dad's. I'm waiting for you to get home. I feel like I haven't seen my roommate in like a day. <laughs> so today we're going to be using the 350 palette by Morphe. And I'm going to take these two colors, this one and this one, and mix them. Cool beans. I'm just going to mix those and put that in my crease as a transition shade. That's in there. I'm gonna take another tapered brush and let me just clean this bitch off. We're gonna go all the way over here with this shade. So the one from the bottom left. Cool, cool. That shade. And just put that on your outer crease. Just like in the V. Do not go in deep into your crease. So just keep that on the outer V. Awesome. Awesome. And then I'm just going to go in with the fluffy brush and just blend both of those colors together. Alright, alright. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. She likes it. She loves it. She wants some more of it. Wrist Rose 2. Ever since she said that, it's just always in my head. I like it. I love it. I think it was the video where she did like her spiral curls. Then I'm going to go in with this kind of like a taupey color. It's this one. It's this one right here, people. And nope, nope, not that color. I'm going to go in with this color. And put that on a flat packing brush and then I'm just gonna apply that to my lid so now I'm gonna spray some fix plus on this brush to get it wet a little bit and I'm going to go back into that same taupey color that we got before this one and then I'm going to just reapply that so that the color is more like intensified hey what are you doing tonight should totally go see Hunger Games I'm just sending a snap to Mar. Hey Mar Mar, just sent a snap to you. Love you, girl. So back back to business. We're gonna go back in to that color that we previously got before, the chocolatey one, and just kind of intensify that crease area, the outer V. And then I'm gonna go back in with another crease brush and go into those that transition shade that I got those two colors and then just put that kind of in my crease just to kind of 
add some more dimension. Right now it's just like a brownie brown mauve. You need to add a little bit of, bit of color in there. Now the eyes are done. Well, no, not really. Now the eyeshadow is done. And I'm going to move on to my concealer and hoil it. So then I'm going to go with my, um, what is this? Yeah, LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Natural. And I just go underneath my eye. I'm going to blend that out with my finger. So then I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics 115 brush and just tap that out a little bit more. And then I'm going to take a beauty blender and then blend that out even more. So then we're going to take Kat Von D's Shade to Light palette and I'm going to go in with Lucid and Lyric. I'm going to mix those two colors together. Have some product on my brush. This is a... Real Techniques blush brush, yes. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender, tap all those creases out, keep looking up, and then go in with your Lyric and Lucid, and set that. And then just do the same thing to the other eye. So tap, 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 tap. Keep looking up, don't look down because this will make you kind of like crease. Keep looking up, keep looking up, stay looking up, and then tap it out with the Lucid and the Lyric. So now that that's all set, I'm going to contour. And today I'm just going to use Benefit by Hoola with my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And just carve out the hollows of my cheeks. And I go in circular motion so it's a little bit more natural. For just a little bit more definition and to add, I kind of like to have like a little bit of glow to my skin. I take Milani's Baked Bronzer. This is in the color Soleil. I just add that to the hollow just a little bit above where I carved out the contour. For blush, I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Mellow Wine. And tap that on a blush brush to the apples of my cheeks. I like to bring the blush back to my temple so that it's a little bit more natural. Blush is on and on point. I'm going to take a small flat brush and go back into that Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to take that brown shade that we put in our crease and just put that on the bottom lower lash line. Now that that's done, we're just going to add some mascara. Right now I'm just using CoverGirl's Lash Blast. Clump Crusher, it's the green one. And then add a few coats to the bottom lashes. All right, so then I'm going to put on some falsies and I'm reusing mine. So I like to kind of like pull the glue from the previous use off of them before I re-put glue on, but I mean, if you just want to use some new ones, go on right ahead. And I'm just using Ardell's Natural Multi-Pack, it's the Demi Lip Wispies. So I'm just pulling like as much glue as I can off of the lash. Look, all that glue is off my lash, and all of this glue is what was on the lash. I just pull it all off. Pull it off. Be careful and try not to um, pull off like any of the hairs, the, the eyelash hairs. You'll be stuck with like a gap of like no hair. Just be careful. Get some glue. This is just the duo um, dark tone glue. I don't like to use the light tone, the one that says it dries clear or whatever. I just like the one that dries black because the one that says it dries clear doesn't really dry clear, in my opinion. It dries white. Or like yellow. Yellow white. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of glue to the band. So I just wait for that to get tacky. And you... <gasps> oh, Nicole just uploaded a video. <laughs> oh my god, I want to cry. 
debating on like stopping filming this just to go watch this video. Corey, calm down. You can wait. So I'm just gonna wait for the glue to get tacky. Like most people say wait like 30 to 45 seconds. Like, girl, I will wait a minute, two minutes. I wait like two minutes or like a minute, minute 15 maybe, just to make sure that it's like tacky because I want it to just stick to my lash as soon as I put it on. So better safe than sorry. I just wait wait as long as I can. And you can kind of see it. Like for so for the dark tone, you can kind of see it like when you apply the lash glue, it's kind of um like light gray and you can see it's kind of like watery or not not watery but it, it's liquid. It's like glue. But then when it starts to harden and it starts to set and your your glue starts to you know get tacky, you can see it gets a little bit darker. So I just kind of like look out for that to see if it's like gotten dark and it looks like it's like tacky. You can tell. So I just wait. Lash in the air. Like I just don't care and I just wave it. So I think that's tacky enough. For some reason I have to take it off of the uh, tweezer and I kind of like bend it a little bit. And then I just stick it on there with my finger. And you can see that it's like kind of off. See the inside is like lifted up a little bit. And then I go in with a tweezer. Stick that sucker. And then I just push my lashes and the fake lashes together. And then we have one lash on. So the inner corner is trying to come off. So whenever that happens, I just kind of hold it. Hello? Hey. Yeah. I just put on my other lash and after that the look is complete so just maybe add a little bit of uh, setting spray <laughs> <laughs> 